Look at these orange pepper ranch wings, you guys. TikTok made me do it. What's up, y'all? It's Steph. I'm back with another TikTok viral recipe slash mukbang video. I made orange pepper ranch chicken wings, you guys. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, we come back. I'm trying to go fast, so I want to eat this shit. I'm about to show y'all how I made it first, and then we're going to jump into eating this, and I'm going to tell y'all what, what I think. Are y'all ready? Let's get into the video. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're going to eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click, babe. These are the items you're going to need. I got the wings, of course. Honey and orange. Orange pepper, butter, ranch seasoning, baking powder. I'm going to add some cilantro at the very end. Just a few sprinkles. Because I don't know. I feel like it'll be good with that. But that's optional. You also going to need a baking sheet with the rack. Okay, so after cleaning the wings, I'm going to cut off the tip. I'm going to separate the drum and the flat from each one. Now you want to pat these dry as much as you can. Now we're going to add baking powder. I'm going to do a tablespoon and a half of baking powder. A teaspoon of orange pepper and a teaspoon of the ranch seasoning. We're also going to be making the sauce later so there's going to be more flavor added on this you guys. Mix this up. Now add that mixture to your wings. The baking powder is going to help to make these baked wings crispy. I'm going to rub a little oil on my rack to help the wings not stick too much. Then you're going to line your wings onto the rack. I'm going to put these in the oven on 250 for 30 minutes. All right, so while the chicken is baking, we're gonna start making our sauce. I don't have any measurements, y'all, so I'm really winging it. We're gonna start with a half a stick of butter, two teaspoons of orange pepper, one teaspoon of the ranch, some fresh orange juice, orange zest. It's already looking like I probably need some more butter. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to add a little sweetness to this with some honey. And this will also help thicken up the sauce and make the wings a little sticky. So I'll let this cook on simmer while the wings are baking. It's been 30 minutes, guys, so I'm going to flip them. And then we're going to throw them back into the oven on 425 for another 30 minutes. So my wings have been cooking on 425 for about 45 minutes, you guys. I'm going to dip them in the sauce and let them cook for maybe 20 more minutes. All right, y'all, I'm back. Oh, you guys. I'm so hungry. I'm so, I'm so hungry. You guys, uh, and I'm tired. Okay? So, hopefully this, this video is, is not too bad. Orange pepper ranch wings. I'm gonna try. It's still hot, hot. I'm gonna try a drum and a flat before I tell y'all anything. But my eyes may be giving stuff away, I'm sure. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now, in between my cooking time, y'all, at the very end, I ended up having some unexpected company, so I had to. I ended up leaving my chicken wings in a little bit longer. So that's why they look barbecued. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Mm. Woo! <laughs> that's bomb. <coughs> oh my god, y'all. Mmm. Orange pepper ranch wings. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. oh, that's so good. Mmm. Mmm. 
This is ranch dressing. Mm. I wish I had extra side of that orange sauce I made. This is so good. I don't know what else to say about it. It seems like it would be too much. The ranch seasoning and the orange pepper. And I wasn't sure how that honey would go either. It went. I don't even think I would want it without the honey. It needs a little bit of sweetness. It's so savory. I saw a lot of people making them with batter and then fried in oil. Those look so good too, y'all. I've been wanting some wings for so long. Mmm. These tomatoes are good. Look that glory, glory cherry tomatoes. Mm. Perfect. I really like eating this with cucumber. Why do you have no cucumber now? No. They didn't have no large ones. They didn't have no small ones. They didn't have no baby ones. They didn't have no Persian ones. They didn't have no Armenian ones. They didn't have a pack of them. Zero cucumbers. At the store. Mm. Mm. The only thing I would do different next time is keep some of that sauce to drench on there right now. I have a view of topic, y'all. Probably the strangest view of topic I've ever come across. Um, but we're gonna talk about it. This is Lighthouse Ranch. I'm not a fan of the bottle dressings. <clears throat> but this ranch is not bad, it's pretty good. Mm, 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 mm. Why they look barbecue? <laughs> they look barbecue, y'all. When I was in my twenties, our spot used to be LA Hot Wings on Melrose, me and my friends. And I remember how I began wanting only flats. This is how I used to look at my friend. And she was, the way she ate the flats, I used to be like, and she would put up the whole thing in her mouth, just slide it out. And I would be in amazement every time. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do that. I ain't did that yet, y'all. Not once. Should I try it? I ain't about to try that shit. I don't even know what I'm asking. I don't even know what to do. I don't know how to do that. I just put it in my mouth and slide it off. I don't want to do that. Hmm? I don't even know how they do it. I'm not, I'm not interested. I like saying it, but I don't want to do it myself. <laughs> when I make this? <laughs> mm -mm, I ain't doing that. I got a pick right here. Yeah, I'm trying to hurry up. So I can get to the video topic, but I can't stop eating. We're going to do one more. Y'all saw how huge the um, jump. Some of these jumpsticks were so big. I was like, mm -mm. I ain't about to eat that. Here's one of them. I'm eating it though. 
I'm never eating it. Here I come, y'all. I'm coming. I'm coming. This damn near air some more at this point. I am so sorry. Mm. Follow me on TikTok, y'all. <clears throat> at Steph Loves Love. I'm going live tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to everybody who did not come here just to sit here and watch me eat. Y'all been waiting on me to say something. So sorry. But that shit was good. Okay. Just noticing I don't have my mic plugged in. So, if you were annoyed by the audio, that's why. All right. Mute Tuppy. All right. So, like I said, this is uh, one of the most unique topics I think we've ever gotten. So she says, in my hometown, a man recently went to dig up his daughter's grave. He's originally not from here and no longer resides here, so he wanted to cremate her to keep him with him. Rem uh, mind you, it's 23 years later, y'all. She died when she was a toddler. Fast forward, now he went to get her and everything was gone. Casket, clothes, and everything. The funeral home said she's in the earth. And that's nothing they can say or do as it went. And there's nothing that they can say or do. As a parent, what would you do? What's your first move? Mm. Okay. Whew. Uh, well, first of all, I'm, I'm just I'm about to be honest, y'all. Y'all already know. I'm be honest. Uh, it's, I'm not trying to be judgmental at all. This is just me and, and what I would do. Number one. I'm not digging nobody up. I'm, I'm not. Just not doing that. I'm not ever going to dig anybody up. The only way I would be okay with somebody being dug up is if they needed to get some DNA or something for a case. I only dig them. Dig them up and see what you can get. But I'm personally not going to. She said like he was going to go dig it up. And she actually said it like he actually did go dig it up because they couldn't find a casket, clothes, or nothing. If they dug up somebody's grave though and there's absolutely nothing there, then that means they didn't bury the person. Because it, I mean, it, it was some bones? Was it some bones there? Nothing was there? That sounds like the, the um, funeral place or the graveyard. They have to some shady tricks. I definitely will hire a lawyer. And we about to we going we going to court. They about to investigate what your company is up to. Cause it should be something there, y'all. Everything gone. Mm -mm. They never put nothing down there. That's why I don't trust. I don't trust certain types of companies, y'all. Cause we go to the funeral and then we leave and we don't know what they be doing. Okay. Well, I've heard several horror stories about. Stuff like that. Them putting people in wood boxes and reusing those castes that you, we pay tens of thousands of dollars for. That's because don't nobody be up there checking to see what they're doing. We leave the funeral. We gone. We done went to the repair. Um, grieving. Ain't nobody over here checking to see what they did. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to take their ass in court for sure. But just on the, just talking about like what he wanted to do, I personally don't think I would have wanted to dig anybody up. I would have made the right decision at the time, y'all. So you ain't got to go digging stuff up, you know. And if you think you're going to want some ashes, you get it done in the, in the beginning, okay. That would be traumatizing anyway. I don't know if he was there looking or whatever, but that would be a lot to watch something, watch your family member be dug up. And then open the casket and then go cremate. That's a lot, y'all. I don't know. But I'm glad he figured out that that place was lying, though. 
Because who knows what happened to her body. They probably cremated it in the first place. They probably doing a lot of cremation for people. Keeping them caskets, recycling them. That ain't, that's, that's messed up. One thing I cannot stand is a business, a shady business, a lying ass business. You're taking people's hard on earned money. Especially during that kind of time because usually death is unexpected. That's not even an expense that people are ready to have usually. Okay. And you over here playing. You over here stealing people's money and not really burying people and recycling the caskets. That's that's horrible. I hope they get that karma. I don't really think y'all need to leave no advice because first of all, it ain't even her story. She just wanted to talk about this. She wanted to just talk about it, y'all. Let, let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm about to go. These wings are bomb. Save some of that orange sauce because you want to drizzle that on after because, oh my God, so good. I hope y'all liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please follow me on TikTok at Stuff Loves Love. Until next time, only your vibes. Peace.